Dream Search Drive. Cars.coza. Keep your adventure alive because when it comes to finding the right part at the right price, there's just no place like Midas for the love of cars. When I bought this car, a lot of people were surprised because I've been known social media and in the streets as Post 45. So I had one of the deadliest, uh, fastest uh, A45 in South Africa at the time. Actually, people were very confused because they've never perceived me to be a fan of Audi. They thought that I was always a fan of, um, I mean, a fan of Mercedes-Benz. And being a, a petrol head, I'm not a fan of any brand. I'm a fan of a product. I'm Bongs, and this is my Audi TTRS 2017 model, stage three, uh, tuned by QT Performance. So basically the journey of this car, it's a very quite special journey. So I bought it for my, it, it was for my 31st birthday. When I bought the car, I was already in discussion with Louis because I, I have an A45, which is tuned by Louis as well. So I told him that I want this car. I wanted uh, a, low ten, a low 10 second car ready. So I got the car from the shop, and then I took it to Louis' old shop, just straight from the, from the shop. I just took it home to show the family. And then after that, I took it to the shop. As a kid, I always loved cars. Um, I had an uncle who was staying in Jobek, who was staying in Pomalanga, past Kruger. So he would come with a Skyland. You know those old Skyland, those not Skyland. Then, um, then, then there's, there's an uncle of mine also, uh, also who bought a, a container. So I always, for me, I loved, it was a V6. I mean, very, I mean many years back. So I love those, it, it, it was a container, so I love that car. I like, I, I love the sound of the, of, of the VR6. I love, I love the Nissan GT, I, I mean, I mean, it was the Skyline at the time. And um, I've, I've, I've always had passion for cars. Unfortunately, the environment that I was in, it, it was so limited in scope that we're limited to the car that we see, you know what I'm saying? It was a village and only if one, one, of the, one of the people from the villages, maybe they stay in the city, they come with a car one day, you get to see that car. Going to high school, things were better and modern. So obviously there was the internet, there was the magazine. So I used to buy magazines to watch the old C32 AMG and all of those compressors. It was just crazy and insane. Those, um, I think it's before, I think it's, yeah, I think it's before, I mean, RS4. I mean, those, I mean, those cars, it was, for me, it was, it, for me, it was just insane. And the, and the E90s and I, I used to look at these cars in the magazines and I, I always had a passion for not just cars, but for sport cars. I used to work in a car wash and the reason why I actually looked in that car wash was to wash the cars. There was one uh, silver RS4 and the, and the M3 that I used to wash, that I, I used to love washing. I know that car used to come on Sundays. So I just used to go there, not to earn an income, but I just love the cars, just to get close to the cars. In nature, I'm a very generous person. I'm a very generous person, and also I'm a petrol head, and I came from humble beginnings. I had nothing. So at The Rock, I do find old people, youngsters, and everyone, they ask to get a ride. I just give them a ride. I've, I've, I think, as it stands, I'm, I'm, uh, I tend to be collected, maybe I've given over 50 or, 50 or 60 people a ride. People that I don't know personally. People that like ask me, like, ah, oh, your car is so fast. Can you please have a ride? I remember there was one, uh, old guy, I was humbled, you know, by, by his, um, his reaction at The Rock. I, I mean, he's never been in a, well, in, in a 600 horsepower car. So I took him, you know, the experience, the joy that he had, you have no idea, that was priceless for me. That was, you know, that was, that was a very special moment. And, and, and till today, I don't, I've, I've taken so much passengers, but, uh, but did, uh, uh, his memory still lives. And I don't forget him because of the, the kind of, the experience that we had. We, we, we together had, and actually he made me realize how fast the car is. You know, when I mean, when you're driving the car, yeah, you overlook at this thing; it becomes so normal to you. But other people's expression also shows you how really impressive the car is. So I ran a 10.3 with the car. The very first time I ran the car at ODI, and it was quite, for me, it was it was a bit, it was an experience because remember I'm not used to this kind of power. 
But also the car doesn't feel like it has a lot of power, it's just that it's shown properly. That's one thing I can say, because it's I pushed up at 600 horsepower. It doesn't put a lot of horsepower compared to what other Tazas are pushing or other motors of the same kind that are pushing. So it was like, for me, it was, it was, it was impressive. I remember first run, first run ever, I was racing a, a BMW M340, a, a good friend of mine, he's running, he, he ran 10.4, he ran, no, he ran 10.5 and I ran 10.3. And that was a good race. That was my first, first race. So my first race with the car was a win. So that was very special for me. I've, I've been racing this car like non-stop and, and I've been enjoying the car because it's, it's, it's a fun car to drive and I've had so much fun with it. So I decided, no, because we're boosting 1.8 power, I was like, but we're still safe boost for stock motor, but I wanted to, to be safe. Because building a building motor is not, you don't you have to go fast, it's to be safe. Uh, I had a trip to London, then I asked, uh, I dropped the car by Louis, I asked Louis to build the car while I was away. So we, we did a hybrid turbo, we did the intake, uh, we did the cooler, and then, yeah, we did the cooler, and we did the water meth as well. So at the time, I, I only had, when I ran 10 I only had those mods. I said, wow, can you, can you add a, a boost controller? And then add a boost controller and upgrade fueling. Uh, these mods that I've done was not actually to enhance the car itself, but was to, to future proof it. If I want to go big turbo and so forth, I've got fueling, I've got uh, the boost controller uh, as such. And then also, yeah, also, also one thing I did about nine months later, um, I've added Cyvex on the car. So Hyvex, Cyvex helps the car launch better. So now, the thing, places like The Rock, that's why I can go to The Rock. When, when everyone is struggling, I'm not struggling. That is upgraded. Uh, but I'm still running the same gearbox tune that I had uh, when, I, when, when the car was tuned the first time. I mean, surprisingly, this car was tuned twice. Like, it was flashed twice, I mean. Like, physically flashed twice. So, so the first time they flashed it was the first time I, was the first time I bought the car. And the second time was when I, changed, when, when I changed my fueling and I changed the motor, it was flashed. It was flashed so that I can, uh, after I did my clashes, so that I can launch aggressively. <laughs> I bought this car because I wanted to, en to enjoy how it feels to have a low 10 second car daily, on a daily basis. Because the A45 years well, was fast and, and, and I really loved the car and I had fun with the car. Um, but I wanted to go a bit faster because you know, I mean, when you're petrol heads, you always want to, you always want to improve and you always want to make sure you have the best tool. I mean, I mean, tool for playing. I mean, this is one of the choices that we have. So this is, for me, this was, for me, this car stood out and so far I'm, I'm happy. It's not the fastest car in the world, but most guys on the street, they know it's gonna give you a run for your money. And the setup that I have on the car, in South Africa at the moment, at altitude, I can't run, I can't compete with my peers. Guys with hybrids, I, will, you know, I kill them. Like, I, I kill them, not, not literally killing them, but I smoke them badly. So it's, we, we, we worlds apart. The only people that are actually giving me good competition, surprisingly, it's big table guys. Even at The Rock, I mean, the only car that would, the, the only car that actually gave me a hard time, it was Louis' car. It was the 8 second TTRS. So practically I'm racing 8 and 9 second cars with a 10 second car. And if I win, I win. And, then, and, and if I don't, it's still value for money. The, the race has become so close and so competitive and so much fun. If you are interested in racing, just go in the streets, look at whose car is running, look at, look at whose car is running consistently, look at whose car is running, not disappearing, because when a car disappears, most of the time the car is broken, you know. From a racer point of view, I don't think that's a nice feeling for anyone, you know. If, if, if you buy your car, you tune your car, you just want to enjoy it, you know. So, but please make sure that you make, when, when, when selecting your tuning house, please do your thorough research. And then, obviously, also, also word of mouth counts, so you can ask your mates. Uh, your mates mates. Someone knows someone, they will give you, they'll tell you the experience. If someone says, I mean, I mean, if someone services and products sucks, trust me, you'll hear from someone. For me, one thing I like about this car, it, it, it's reliable. A lot of the other BMWs that are in the same class, I can't say the same, unfortunately. 
you know, one or two runs, something breaks, you know. It's, it's, a, it's a, as I said, I've got mates, I've got friends of mine that with, with these cars, so very close friends of mine, so I know the issues that, I, that they go through. So one thing I like about this car is the reliability. It's, it's a very reliable car. And number one, num number two also, also one thing I like about this car that makes it stand out from the rest, I think from the rest of the other platforms, other motors, S58, B58, is that this car runs consistently. You, you know, there's a term called one hit wonder, not with my car. The time I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run. So if I'm gonna run 2.7, I'm gonna run 2.7, 0 to 100. The car doesn't, uh, with, with, with other brands, respectfully BMW, you, you run once, that, that best time, then you're running in the bush. You run 9.7 or 9.6 one time, the rest 10.8. Uh, uh, there, there was a mate of mine uh, that passed on, uh, he, had a, he, he had an M5. At the time I was driving the A45. We went to Midval, same car, same track, it was running 12 4, 12 2, 11 8. One, one run, 10 8. Over the couple of years, I've seen other M5s of the same kind doing the same thing. So it's, you run one, one good time once, it hooks one time once, and then that's the end of story. But one thing I like about this car is consistent. So even if I'm gonna run like 10 1 or 10 3, the car's gonna run 10 3 all the time. But, but there's a big catch. But with these cars, you need to run, let it cool down. So when I came to this car, I came from the A45 background. The A45 didn't care. I used to, I used to black them that car. I used to run after run. It, it didn't, well, I would, I would get 11, I mean, 11, 5, 11, 6, 11, 7, that's it, you know what I'm saying? It was not far off. But these cars I know, you need to, as I said earlier, if the car is too hard, well, in, in my tune, the car will protect itself. It will bog. And then I won't, I won't, I won't have the best run that I want. But I've, hence I said I've learned, I've learned all of these lessons. I let the car cool down. I know when to race the car and when not to. One thing about a consistent car, no? it, it helps you improve as a driver. You become a better driver. So it's like I, I, I talk to the car. It's like I've got a relationship with the car. So I like that. The fact that the, the car's consistency allows me to, to build that relationship of understanding the car. For now, I'm happy with it as a hybrid. And I think it's, the car is running well. Earlier I did mention that the problem with uh, the track cars, the track cars, they run nines on the track when they are prepped. If you find them on the same track, unprepped, it's a different case. The same, the same a nine second car can run even a 10-9, you know, you know, if it's unprepped. So for me, this car, all I wanted was a, a, low, a low 10 second car. So I'm, I'm very happy with the car as it is at the moment. When I go um, big turbo, then my aim is to run 9.5. Uh, 9594 with the car as it is. My personal goal is to run the car as it is. I don't want to strip the car, put special tires, and I don't like inconvenience. So I just want to take the car as it is. So my what's next for the car? It's 95. 9594 on the streets. I'm happy. One thing I would say that anyone, for anyone, for anyone to make it, you don't need a rich parents. You don't need to come from a world background. You don't need to come from a, even a better village. You just need to have passion, follow what's in, whatever that God planted in your heart, follow it. Trust me, whatever that is in your heart, it's not coincident. Yes, yes, unfortunately to the people around you, it could be like you are, I mean, you're not realistic, you're dreaming too much. And, and, also, and, and also, I also understand their perspective because remember your vision lives within you. No one can understand better understand it than you. As long as you believe that you can do it, definitely anything is possible. Are you busy trying to decide between two cars, three cars, four cars, five cars, six cars? We have an excellent compare tool on our site which will help you make sense of all the different pricing and all the different specs. You'll find it on our main site as well as in our app. It's super slick, it's easy to use, it's highly detailed, it's constantly updated with the latest information and pricing and I can guarantee you it'll make your life a ton easier. Check it out on our website, link in the description below. Cars.coza Keep your adventure alive because when it comes to finding the right part at the right price, there's just no place like Midas for the love of cars.